In this video, we're going to be looking at composite functions. So if we're given two functions, f and g, we can find the composite function through this definition. So the way that we read this, uh, so this symbol means that we're composing two functions. So the way that we read this is f composed with g of x is equal to f of g of x. Uh, really, we can actually just read this as f of g of x, the same way that we would read this. But what this really means is that f and g are being composed. It's a composition function. So what does this actually mean? Um, basically, what we're doing is we're taking our function g and we're substituting it into f as the input. So the entire function of g is going to be the input of our function f. Now, one thing that you have to note that is important is that the order in which you compose functions matters. So generally speaking, if we composed f with g, and we compose g with f, so f of g of x, f of g of x. So this composition is typically not equal to g of f of x, right? So the order does matter. If we are using g as the input for f, it's usually not the same as if we use f as the input for g. So that um, is a key thing to remember. The order does matter in which you do the composition. So let's take a look at an example of how we can compose two functions. So if we're given the function f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 1 and g of x is equal to 2x plus 3, we want to find this composition, f of g of x. So remember this just means that we're taking f and evaluating it at g of x. So f of g of x. So what does this actually mean? Well, really what this is saying is that this here, g of x, is becoming the new input for our function of f. So normally if you think about evaluating some function, right? Let's say I want to evaluate f at 3, for example. So if I'm evaluating f at 3, that just means that anywhere that I see the value of x, I replace it with a 3. So it'd be 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 1. But instead of f being evaluated at 3, we're going to actually evaluate it at the function of g of x. So g of x is going to be the entire input into our function. So we're going to take 2x plus 3 and plug it into f of x. So 2x plus 3. So 2x plus 3 is now the input of our function. So anywhere that we saw x in f, it's going to be replaced by 2x plus 3. So we have 2x plus 3 here being squared uh, plus 3 times 2x plus 3. And then all of this minus 1. So to evaluate this, this is f of g, right? To evaluate this, we're going to square this and we're going to have to distribute and then combine like terms. So we know we're going to have to distribute, and then this is going to be squared. So we get uh, 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x plus 3 plus, so 3 times 2x, that's 6x. 3 times 3, that's 9, so plus 9, minus 1. So let's do some foiling here. So we know that the outer... Uh, the first, the outer, the inner, and the last. That's how we do our multiplication for FOIL. So the first two terms, 2x times 2x, that's 4x squared. Um, 2x times 3, that's a positive 6x. 3 times 2x, again, that's another positive 6x. 3 times 3 is 9, so plus 9. And then plus all this other stuff that we have here. So plus 6x plus 9 minus 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to combine our like terms. And then that will be our new function. So we have 1, 2, 3, 6 x's. We have a positive 9, another positive 9, and a negative 1. So we can kind of put these all together. So if we're looking at f of g of x, so f of g of x is equal to, so we have 4x squared, 4x squared. Uh, 6x plus 6x is 12, plus another 6x is 18x, so plus 18x, and then 9 and 9 is 18, minus 1 is 17. So this right here, 4x squared plus 18x plus 17, is our function 
our composition of f and g, f of g of x. Uh, so what can we do with this? Well, this is actually just a new function, right? It's pretty nice. We have a new function. So we could do all sorts of things with it. We can evaluate it. So if I wanted to know what was f of g of 1, for example, I could just take 1 and plug it into this function and figure out its value. So I can do anything that I could do with a normal function. I could find its domain. I could graph it, find intercepts, whatever I needed to do. Um, it's just a new function that we made by putting two functions together.